not to be outdone, the Android 13 beta part three is here. So it's not a, not just people getting the June security patch and feature drop for Android 12 with the pixels now, mine's actually installing right now, uh, we have the Android 13 beta, the third one. And this is a big milestone beta because they have reached platform stability. And if you don't know what that is, as they do the beta stuff when it first comes out, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of in flux. So they're still optimizing things, making changes to the SDK software development kit. They're making changes to the AP. There's a lot of stuff that they're doing, not just stuff on the surface level that really is what builds the UI and kind of makes it what it is, Android 13. So as they're doing this, this is a big vote of confidence because basically what they're saying is moving forward, it means that as they go forward, there's not going to be any changes to that. So software developers can feel basically assured that they can start working on their apps. So whatever people are going to have that's going to launch with Android 13, their apps, that's how it's all updated. This isn't something that miraculously happens. It's something that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. So software developers are now saying, okay, Android 13 beta is good. We can start working on our apps. So that way, once they drop, they're ready to go whenever Android 13 gets here with the Pixel 7 this fall. So that's super cool. And actually, they're ahead of schedule. In fact, they're, they've reached platform stability two months sooner than they did with Android 12 when it was in beta last year. So this, right al this alone should give some reassurance and let people know that I guess they're taking it seriously and that the platform seems pretty stable. I actually have a lot of confidence in Android 13 because from the get-go, it's been pretty bug-free. Actually, I've had a pretty good experience with Android 13 beta. I've, I've been using it on my Pixel 6, so I have official release Android 12 on my Pixel 6 Pro, and then I have the Android 13 beta on my Pixel 6. So I kind of bounce back and forth and keep up to date on this stuff, uh, just like you like to do with my videos. And if you enjoy these videos, hey, hit the like, the subscribe button, notification bell, all that stuff so you can get the latest videos when more Pixel content comes out, which is going to be a lot because... I cover a lot of Pixel devices. So Android 13, June patch here, Android 13 beta 3 here. Cool stuff if you like Google Pixel phones. And that's a neat thing that's exclusive, really kind of the Pixel phones. We get it first. We get it first. We get the feature drops. We get the beta stuff. I was running concurrently Android 12 beta, Android 12, Android 13 beta on three different devices, if you can even believe that. It's been, it's been a, a nightmare, really, trying to keep up with all this stuff and trying to keep you guys informed. Because I know you guys and gals rely on my Pixel content, but also I review a lot of other stuff. So there's kind of a lot out there. So there are some new features, and these are the last probably major features that are coming along, and they're not even that big. They, there are some things, they're just kind of refinements. So one of the biggest ones that they have is actually they've changed the setup process for fingerprint scanning. So on the new devices that come out with it, this will probably be big with the Pixel 7. It may even be helpful for people re-registering or setting up a Pixel 6 because it adds more emphasis on setting up like the sides and the edges of your thumb when you scan your finger or whatever finger you choose. But most people, I think, probably use their thumb, at least for their primary fingerprint anyway. So that is a change that's on there. Also, the navigation bar down in the bottom has been made bigger and more prominent. Hasn't made any changes to the actual function or navigation of the phone. It just makes it stand out a little bit more. Also, they have brought back the global search bar and it includes web search as well. So if you liked the global search bar before, you like to be able to do that, you can add web search on there. That's cool. You can go ahead and do that. So that's those are like the three big things. They made some tweaks to the media player. They also made some other UI tweaks and stuff like that. There's nothing that really stood out that was super, super crazy with this. And yeah, if you want to grab it, go ahead and get it. You can download it. I didn't have any problems with mine. It popped up earlier today, but I've been so busy covering everything else and trying to deal with my 9 to 5 job. It's hard to keep up with all this stuff because it's like Google Pixel update, feature update, bug fixes for Android 12. And then it's like, hooray, the very next day, Android 13 beta 3. So find out more about it. There's a lot of articles out there. You can check out The Verge, 9 to 5 Google, XDA, a lot of different places. You can find out more if you want to go look at it. But I want to tell you guys, if you're in the beta program, go ahead and download it. Get it now. If you're not in the beta program, you want to test out and enroll it. It's actually pretty stable. So, yeah, I've been pretty happy with it. Haven't had a whole lot of problems. I'm expecting, hopefully, good things once Android 13 gets here in the full release this fall with the Pixel 7. And hopefully, hopefully, we can avoid the fiasco that we had that has been Android 12 and the Pixel 6. I really, really hope that the Pixel 7 brings us 
a relatively bug-free experience and a much, much, much better operating system from the get-go. And I think developers do too, because if you remember it, it was not, it was not very kind when we got Android 12 for Samsung or OnePlus. It was kind of catastrophic in some ways. I mean, they actually had to pull it back on OnePlus. They had to roll back the update. It was so bad. So yes, I, I have a lot of confidence in this. I'm glad they're ahead of schedule. And now moving forward, it's just going to be more refinements, more more enhancements to what's already there and fixing things and getting it all tightened up. So that way, when the official launch does get here, we're good to go. So yeah, that's about it, all I got for this video. I just wanted to talk to you about it. A couple of new feature drops. If you want more specifics, of course, check out those articles. You can find out more specifically what the smaller little minutia is, but not a lot of crazy stuff that happened with this update. So that's all I got. If you have any questions or comments, please go to the comments section. I will get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.